Hello and welcome back to Tomb Raider where Lara is um, floating around in this little pool here. We dropped from way up there at the end of the last level. So now we've got to go down here and have a big old swim to find out what's waiting for us in this level. Right, there's a lever here. I don't think you can pull these while the level's flooded, can you? No, you can only pull the other type of lever in the water. Oh, we can go further down? Ah, here we go. We might be about to run out of breath. Let's get out of here quick. That was close. But yeah, that dropped the water level for us. So now we'll be able to pull this. Great. Alright, just a little bit of a, a cheek clenching moment to start the level off for you, eh? Well, that was very unkind. Just jam me against a wall. Okay. This looks like I should be able to move this. No, okay. You know, like, each different level has its own movable block pattern. That looked like this might be this level's, but I guess not. Alright, I can come up here, though. You can kind of see the divide on the textures of the wall where the, uh... where the water level would have been. Is that a lever up in that corner there? I think it might be. So let me just hop over here. Oh, that's not nice. Okay, well I'm safe in the corner. I'm just looking down there. There's a way through there. Okay, maybe I've got to pull this lever first. Hang on. Alright, well that worked. Then I got this jump to make. There we go. Okay, well hopefully whatever this lever does turns off those dart guns. Oh, that just raised the water back up. Okay, well... Swan dive opportunity. Oh, this block has moved. Hang on, what's under here then? It's a health kit. Is that all? Oh, that's a shame. Could have been like a secret passageway or something. So, the block floods. Which is kind of weird, but we won't question it. Oh, another swan dive op. Hang on, come on, Lara. We can do it. There we go. Oh, this is quite the convoluted level, isn't it? Right, there's a lever I can pull here. I don't know what that's done, but let's keep it moving. Oh, wow. Oh, we're going. I'm guessing this is what that lever did. Oh, hey, there's a rat. Yeah, I don't know if I'd have ever made that, um... Made that swim in time without that thing of water pulling us. But here we go. Here's what the pullable blocks look like. Let's just bury the rat inside the block. There we go. Good night, sweet rat prince. Okay, so it looks like I can go up. But there is a thing over here, right? Oh. <laughs> Apparently Laura can't make that jump. What was that I said last level about me underestimating Laura's ability? Uh, is there even anything down here? No. There is not. Okay. Just add that to the list of pointless times I've taken fall damage. That's a swinging blade, by the looks of it. Some shotgun shells there. It looks like I can hop up here. Of course you're here. How do you get here before me? I don't know, but he's run away. Alright. Never mind. I just walked up to the edge because the blade was behind the edge and I thought I'd be safe, but no. Alright, well I guess I'll go up here where we were attacked from before I try and tussle with that blade again. See where this prick ran off to. He'll be around here somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, he's right there. Well, I'm gonna need health. Okay, he stopped taking damage now. So he should be gone. He just kind of appeared out of nowhere there. I look around the corner using my sneaky wall trick, like this, and he's not there, and then as soon as we get around the corner, he's just everywhere. Oh no, not these again. See, I don't mind traps in general, but those are just so loud, it's obnoxious. 
We're all looking here. Some alligators or crocodiles down here, whatever they are. That one's dead. Looks like a lot of shotgun shells in here. And some more magnum ammo. Maybe I'll swap over to the shotgun in a little bit because we've been using mostly magnums chewing through that ammo. But we've picked up a lot of shotgun shells. Though it seems to me like we came down here prematurely because we should probably have to raise the water here before we can do anything in this room. Though that just opened something. Hello. Are you a secret? You are a secret. What is your secret? What do you contain? What? Am, am I just dumb or is there nothing in here? Actually, don't answer that question. Oh, look up there. Okay, so... Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have an idea. There we go. Turns out I'm, I'm just dumb. So what's that? Large health kit and more shotgun shells. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Only problem now is I've used the only safe crystal I've come across. And we have all of these traps to contend with again. Like, wherever it's gone, we've got all chompers up here. Alright, we have passed old chompers. Though, to be honest, old chompers wasn't the biggest of our worries when we've got this thing here as well. I don't want the shotgun shells. But that seems really risky. I wonder though if I can make the jump from here. Hang on, how far down is that? I'm just gonna use a medipack for for safety, I think. Safety strats here. And I think that's fine. Alright, well, that could have gone much worse. Let's just hope. There we go. Just have to make sure Laura didn't get her head taken off by the swinging blade immediately afterwards. And then we need to get up there, don't we? Alright, so I think the way I do this is I just make a run for the end, and then hope that I can time my jump correctly. Alright, well we took about a quarter of our health and damage, but we made it up. Alright, so what's down there? That looks like a long drop. Um, wait, is that where we just were? I'm pretty sure this is where we just were. Yeah, it is. It definitely is, because there was this long, uh, long thin bit in the ceiling that we couldn't get to, and I thought I had to flood the level to get up here. Alright, well, we're up. I just heard a door open again. There's a lever here, but something definitely just opened. So what did that do? Oh, let me guess, it flooded the level, didn't it? It did! Oh, wow. How would I figure that one out? Alright, this one dive. Oh, this was shutting. I think that must have been what that was then. I think that must have been that door closing that I heard, rather than something opening. Oh, wait, this means I have to contend with old Chompers again, doesn't it? Oh, Chompers, why? Oh, no, Chompers. You know how much crap I've got to do again now? How much stuff we picked up because I saved too early? Oh, man. Look at him running around up there. Alright, the level has once again been flooded, but you know what we're going to do? We're not going to test all chompers again. We're actually going to go back this way. See if it's possible to get back the way I came by going back up this shimmy route. Because I think I'd rather deal with that swinging axe than old chompers. Because he's a bit nasty. Like you can survive touching the... Yeah, you can survive touching this axe. But you can't survive touching those other blades. So yeah, it's wet down there. Do I dare? Fuck it, yes I do. Brilliant. Alright then, so I guess we just go down here? Into the water? Oh, we're going real fast in this direction. Is this not where I came in from? It is. Okay, I may have been turned around here. Definitely- oh. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. I was just thinking there was- Rat? I was just thinking there was definitely something we missed back here. Because there was nothing else I could do anywhere else. But yeah, we had to go back through old Chompa's room. Well, there's another save crystal at least, and a lion. Which is now dead. Ooh, it spikes. Don't run into those. Now, I don't care if this is premature, I'm definitely taking this save crystal. Because there was quite a lot of danger we passed on our way out here. And there's a monkey somewhere too. <laughs> 
Where is that monkey? Oh, there's a lever here. There's a medkit in there. Potentially also another monkey. Okay, this is a, a gold lock here. There's a safe crystal all the way back there behind that room. And these are the same kind of floating blocks? I think I need to be above me here. Yeah, look, that's where the monkeys are. And where that health kit we just opened is. Okay, I've hit one of the monkeys. He's dead. I don't get very much time to shoot at them with this thing, though. No, that's just a wasted shotgun shell. Okay, you know what? Instead of wasting ammo, I'm just gonna get up there. Up we go. <laughs> Alright then. That was kind of execution style, but sure, we'll take it, Laura. Yeah, it looks like I need to shimmy across this crack here. I was just thinking I can maybe make that, but it looks risky. Do I maybe need to jump for it like this? Because it's slightly lower down. Yeah, there we go. I was just conscious of the fact that we were doing this over the top of some spikes. But whatever. Ah, that's the gold key. So I'll have that. Let's see what this gold key does. It probably just opens the door on the other side of the room, but... It's something. Oh. Oh, I see. Interesting. But what was the splash? What landed in the water? I don't see anything. No, okay. Oh look, there's a health kit there by the door. We will happily take that. We have a lot of them though. We've got like over ten large ones now. And this is just a room with a lot of locked doors. I don't know what all this on the floor says, but we have a block we can move. But I don't have another key for this lock. No. She won't let me use the scion on it. Unfortunately. Maybe these are pressure plates. And by moving the block on top of one of them, that will open a door. It's worth a try, I think. Oh, I think that worked. Yes, it did. Alright, we've got to make sure we get closer to people when we do that, though. So there's a lot of ammo in here. Shotgun shells, magnum rounds, not bad, not bad. We still haven't found the oozies yet, though. I'm worried that I've missed them. Well, that's another monkey. Come here, then, you. And this one is also more ammo. There's some shotgun shells there. So we profited a single shell from this room, and that's all there is. Oh, that also opened this one up here. This one has a large med kit in it. Oh, chompers, no. Hang on, you can survive that with full health? I thought it was just an instant kill. That does mean we have to use one of our 15 large medipacks to get back through there, but... Alright, well, we've learned something new today. Chompers is not as chompy as he seems. Oh, I do not want to use the shotgun for this. Hang on. Let me climb this block. Or I'll climb the block. Thank you. We'll just use the regular pistols for this. It's been a while since we've used these, actually. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I just didn't see the point in wasting shotgun ammo on an enemy which had such low health in the first place. Uh, it just seemed a bit excessive. Okay, so there is a medkit on here. Which I'm more than happy to take. How many do we actually have now? 14 small, 14 large, okay. What nasty surprises are waiting in here? Yeah, I see, I see. So I'm gonna jump down and then forward jump immediately? Well, that seemed to work. And nowhere else in this game have those traps ever been recycled. 
Like, once they fire, once they're done, so... We'll take this health kit, if Laura will permit me. We've now got two keys, so we can open this door here. There is that safe crystal right behind it as well. So we can get this open, use that, and then find out what's waiting for us at the back of this level. That is a long slide down into some water. Alright. Looks like there's really no way around that, through the lion's mouth. Right, so there's nothing else in this pool with us. Except for that thing there. Okay. Let's not hang around. Let's not wait for it to spot us. It seems like it's stuck almost. Regardless, I'm surfacing. And where is it? It's right there. Okay, good, it's gone. So I can go all the way through there. I kind of want to go back on myself though, because it looked like there was something I could take. You know, it looks like there's a platform on top of where we came in from. Uh, there's nowhere to surface and climb out though, so... I guess it's nothing. So I'll head through here, see what's around this corner first. That is... Just sandy ground? Yeah? I half expected it to be like quicksand or something. Right, what's through there? A lever? And then what's down there? More water. Alright, so I think I have to slide down this and then... That'll take me over there. You know, I slide down it and jump at the bottom. Like that. Then we can just about get up here. I'll pull this lever. That looks like it should be the end of the level. That was a gold-coloured gate. Alright, a little bit of a maze to swim through. But we're back out in the main area now. This is where I wanted to be anyway, so that's fine. Do you have to check, though? Is there anything back here? Ah. This is where that gate I opened was. Alright. So let me have a quick look above where we are right now, see if I can find anything in the level before we leave. Oh yeah, I almost forgot we were in Greece, until I saw those statues. So we can't go through there. That's shut, firmly. So there's nothing up here? Doesn't look like it. So we can go back underneath through this passage we opened. Alright, here we go. And there's the door, okay. So they just hid the entrance underneath the entrance, it seems. Alright, let's have a quick peek what's in here. Oh! Hello. Oh, you are unpleasant. Okay. <laughs> um... What about you? Are you gonna wake up? No? You're behaving? Okay, good boy. Let's see what else is in here. Aside from exploding horse statues. A little late for the prize giving, no? Still, it is the taking part which counts. Uh, okay. That was very French of you. Come around this corner. Just eat my shotgun. Oh, we actually got him this time. Alright. So he's just... Oh, he's just dead. He dropped some things. Oh, we got a piece of the Scion. We got his magnums. Okay. Well, I'm out of shotgun ammo, so... That works for me. We'll heal up. And then... Yeah, I guess he picked the Scion up off of here. Okay, okay. Well, he had a gold key. I also see the potential to move the block in the corner here. Oh, that's not a block, that's a door. Right, I see, I see. We can pop our key into this lock. Oh, I see our key. It's the dead man's key. There's also a health pack in that corner there to replace the one I used. Wait, there's something in that corner. Hold up. I may be missing a load of things in this room, so there's a health kit here. Is there anything on this side? No. But there is ammo on that little ledge over there as well. Let me get myself over there. 
No, plant pot, let go of me. Thank you. It just looks like more magnum ammo to me, but it is. Okay. I think that's also what's on the other side. So let's hop back onto the main platform. Over here as well. Yeah, it's just magnum ammo. So how much do we have? 343. We have 343 magnum rounds. Ah, do we have another silent cutscene? We do! Okay, so she's looking at some kind of mural. There are very scared men. What was that, like a meteor? And then that looks like some kind of Egyptian pharaoh, almost. Right, well that was the end of that level. We're now in somewhere decidedly more sandy, it seems. I'll give you a little bit more of a sneak preview than usual. There's a hole. Oh, we're in Egypt. That must have been a pharaoh then. This is some rather Egyptian architecture. Well, we'll have a proper peek around here next time. That wasn't too bad of a level, to be honest. I think I enjoyed the cistern, which was the level previous, and this level quite a lot. You know, the other parts of the Greek stage, like um, the Midas Palace and the Colosseum, weren't quite as good, I don't think, but those last two levels were pretty nice. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the members and pledges for your continued support in what I do. Do drop by our Discord server, linked in the description, if you want to come chat with myself or any members of our wonderful community. And I'll see you next time for a bit of Egyptian exploration. Bye-bye.